ammunition. There are tons of options for it in game, but is any of it worth using in the first place, and if so, which ones? Hi, I'm Flaky, and today we're going to take a look into the ammo category in MWZ and answer that very question. A quick note before we begin, some of the ammo types like high and low grain, high velocity, and etc. already have their pros and cons outlined in the gunsmith. So we will mainly point our attention with the ammo that have more ambiguous effects in zombies. I will still bring some of the noteworthy ones up, but the main focus is on the ammo that need a proper testing. With that out of the way, let's drop in and find out which ammo is best in Modern Warfare Zombies. Hollow Point Rounds The purpose of these boys is to add some crippling power to your guns. The description says that it will slow the target and even disable sprint if you shoot them in the legs. I figured these rounds would be good for use in slowing down a horde. If the rounds even worked in the first place. No, the hollow point rounds unfortunately add nothing to the crippling power at all. Guns and Modern Warfare Zombies already have a level of stumble power to them, but the hollow points do absolutely nothing to add to this. What it does add, on the other hand, is a nice little debuff to your penetration power, making your bullets have the penetrative power to the thumbtack you stepped on in third grade. The hollow points are unfortunately one of several ammunition types that I've tested that unfortunately have a placebo effect, so I personally could not recommend this round at all because it doesn't even work in the first place. Slug Rounds, a classic substitute to the Buckshot. Slug Rounds trade the pellet sour from a Buckshot for a more familiar form of firing. Firing just one projectile, the slug allows you to have much more range than you would have had otherwise. The range on this is impressive. In terms of Call of Duty logic anyways, considering this is the franchise that thinks 10 meters out is enough to make your buckshot turn into confetti at the kid's birthday party. You can easily take on targets in tier 1 with just a basic, common weapon, comfortably from 40 meters out. I already use these rounds myself for the more consistent damage done outside of point blank range. I find the buckshot is only consistent when you're using it so close you're getting ready to give whoever you're shooting at open heart surgery. Another oddity that makes this round better is when you use it on the Lockwood 680. When it is Pack-A-Punch, the Lockwood converts any cell you use into a buckshot pattern no matter what. Combine that with slug round damage and you got the little brother of the Howard 77. I can definitely say I would recommend these rounds. Armor Piercing these seem to be the most commonly chosen ammo type. You can imagine why. Anyone who has played Modern Warfare Zombies knows the sheer abundance of armored enemies in this game. But despite its name, it actually doesn't penetrate armor. I know, I know, that sounds pretty crazy. But from the testing I've done, the bullet hasn't been able to do any real increased damage to armor at least not anything significant is that to say this round is bad no absolutely not what it doesn't have in armor penetration it makes up for in penetration of everything else this round holds way more penetrative power than the others allowing you to do increased damage through obstructions of any kind including zombies you can shred through a horde with any gun that can support these things. And considering the versatility of this round with the other ammo types, it makes it a very solid pick. And that doesn't even include the increased damage it does to vehicles, making it a go-to pick for those looking to complete vehicle-related challenges. You should have been using this round already, but if not, you should be adding it to your favorites now. Frangible Rounds Frangible Rounds already serve a very situational purpose. I already went into this thinking these rounds were going to suck. The only use for these is to stop healing at the cost of damage range and bullet penetration. The only problem being, zombies don't heal in this game. The only thing close is the disciples health steal ability. So there I was off to find Ed's Lord grabby pants and try it out, only to find <gasps> it does not work. Who would have guessed? Unfortunately, frangible rounds are added to the list of ammo types that don't work. 
I know it was already serving a very niche purpose to begin with, but come on. We couldn't have given this some sort of bleeding effect and damage over time or anything. These don't work at all, but hey, at least they look cool. Bolo. Very interesting description. It states that it adds crippling, wounding, and increased limb damage. Now we know from our tests on friends of wolf and hollow points that these debuffs are non-existent in zombies. However, the increased limb damage piqued my interest. But unfortunately, instead of increased limb damage, it's decreased. Because your one-shot kill potential on this gun is awful if you include bolo rounds. Unless you are getting headshots on unarmored zombies, you can kiss any chance to kill with one trigger pull goodbye. It'll leave you wondering if they accidentally loaded airsoft BBs instead of lead into the shells. It's a shame that this shell has four, four different effects, and they are either terrible or don't work in the first place. Like the other rounds, they are just ports with no consideration for balancing for zombies. This could have been a great alternative, or even better than slugs. But unfortunately, it's nothing more than a Temu knockoff. Explosive rounds. These are sniper and shotgun exclusive, and for good reason. You trade an ordinary bullet for one that explodes on impact. This thing does devastating damage to vehicles. And uh, fences? No, they, they can't be right here. Let me check my notes. Oh, oh no. It, it can't one shot zombies? Spores? Not eating the ethernets? How? How is it so bad? These things are hot garbage. I'm just gonna rip the band-aid off and just tell you right now. These things are god awful. I don't think I've seen a worse ammo type in this game. At least the other ones can make the argument of they don't work. This most certainly does work. It just doesn't work well. This thing struggles with anything that's not a headshot. That part about the explosive? It has the blast radius of those little things you throw on the ground and it makes a little cracking noise from the dollar store. If you aren't able to kill it in one shot, which is almost every time, your enemy is going to stumble and fall to the ground. They should have made this the effect you get from using hollow point rounds and make that round useful. This type of effect doesn't work on a sniper because it's not able to diss up quick follow up shots. And don't even get me started on the explosive slugs. At least the sniper one shots mercs. This thing can't even do that. It can't even do damage to your dad's old 2003 Ford pickup that he sold on eBay Motors. And the penetration. Oh god, the penetration. It doesn't exist at all. The payload explodes on impact. You can't go through anything because there's no bullet left. All that's left in front of you is an angry zombie who thinks you hit him with a kickball. Stay far away from these things. And, and Treyarch, please buff the explosive rounds. I beg of you. Incendiary rounds. The little brother to explosive rounds. Now these things are not nearly as useless as explosive rounds. In fact, they actually have the best in class vehicle damage, making them the best choice for taking out vehicles of any kind. However, when it comes to its use against zombies and mercs, the damage output is negligible if not worse off in some scenarios. There's no sort of lingering burn effect on this ammo, or does the game even register the incendiary rounds as fire damage? Now you may be wondering, what is fire damage exactly? Let me explain. Fire is one of the five main forms of damage that is done in game now whether you're using molotov cocktails thermites the napalm burst ammo mod it's all considered fire damage and can do extra damage to enemies that are weak to it in this case the mangler you see on screen however you can see that as i'm shooting him there's no fire icon designating that i am doing extra damage to him because of his weakness now I've spent at least an hour trying to see if these things were doing extra damage of any kind to the Mangler, but it was done to no avail. With nothing else to say otherwise, I'm going to be completely honest and say that I cannot recommend these rounds at all. 
because at least if they were able to do extra damage to fire weakened enemies, I could make a case for the knees role that it fits into, but considering that it doesn't even do that, and then you're taking hits to your bullet rains, velocity, and penetration, which are some of the most important stats when building your kit. I could not recommend these in the slightest. You have no reason to select these rounds whatsoever. And this same principle also applies to the Dragon's Breath rounds as well. It's a case of they don't outright not work, but they don't do their supposed job well either. Snake Shot. This lead-filled cartridge acts as a way to turn your hand cannon into a compact shotgun. Now while the shotguns in game leave lots to be desired, this cartridge most definitely does not. Boasting high damage output in each round, it allows you to deal massive amounts of damage in each shot, making it cater to a big game hunter role quite well. Now this isn't without drawbacks. You will take a hit to your bullet velocity and your range, but considering what you get in return, this more than justifies the trade-off. It's not a surprise to see the amount of usage this ammo is getting in game right now. Pair this ammo with a Kimbo, and you have a sheer juggernaut of a weapon that can take down the biggest and baddest enemies in Modern Warfare Zombies. If my high praise of this cartridge isn't enough to persuade you, try it yourself and let this fella do all the talking you need. Alright, let's see what's left on the list. Mm -hmm. Overpressured P plus rounds and anything that has target flinch on it. Let's see. It doesn't work! Alright, now that we're done with the rounds that required field testing, we're going to take a look at the rounds that are just more or less stat changes. These ones, you just need to apply to your build and find the one that's right for you, but generally they're all good and able to be used. High grain rounds, heavier bullets that hit harder, but unfortunately, you take extra recoil for the ability to have faster velocity and damage range. Low grain rounds, the exact opposite of the high grain. Less recoil, less range, and velocity. Hardened rounds, has a low friction coated round that provides good bullet penetration damage at the cost of range, velocity, and recoil control ones I actually wouldn't recommend because you most likely have armor piercing rounds. High velocity, have faster bullet velocity at the cost of recoil. Mono rounds, have extra vehicle damage, bullet penetration velocity at the cost of damage range and recoil control, not to be confused with stereo rounds. Round nose, target flinch, we already know that doesn't work, bullet penetration at the cost of damage range. And composite for the 6.8 allows you to have better ADS speed, sprint to fire time, and carry an extra mag in reserve at the cost of damage range and velocity. And that ends our journey into the world of ammunition in Modern Warfare Zombies. A lot of the ammo types have a lot of great uses, with the exception of others that either don't hold up or currently do not work in the game mode right now. But I hope this video helps those looking for the best ways to take on the horde and grind out their masters as we make our way through our MWZ escapades. Thank you so very much for taking your time to click my video and listen to me talk about fake bullets. Consider subscribing, I'm going to be making more videos to help you conquer Urzikstan and wherever else you may go. You have a beautiful day, and remember, keep your head on a swivel.